Welcome back, my math party people. Welcome back. So Coach Anderson here, and what we're doing is we're now following up on solving equations, and now we're going to be doing solving inequalities. So we have a nice little series here for you. Where we're going to be going over one-step inequalities, two-step inequalities, and multi-step. Now, if you've already gone through solving equations, which I really hope you have, and I really hope you've watched our lesson on inequalities as well, if you've gone through those two things, then you're going to be crushing this. Because the thing about inequalities, the only difference between inequalities and equations is that when you're multiplying or dividing both sides by a negative number, you just have to switch the, the symbol right there. You just got to flip that sign. Again, whenever you're multiplying both sides by a negative or dividing both sides by a negative, you just flip the sign. That's it. That is really, really it. And you're good to go. Now, there are some other little things that we're going to go over that are super simple and straightforward. But let's go ahead and start off here with one step inequalities, then two step inequalities, then multi step. And then I'm going to let you practice with the worksheets and look at those speed drills. So again, if you're in the course, you've got all the practice that you need. So here we go. We have m divided by 6 equals negative 7. Now notice what I just said. I said equals negative 7? No. Greater than negative 7. And so, treat this just like an equation. That inequality symbol just means greater than, then we have less than, we have less than or equal to, greater than or equal to. Those all mean different things. And so let's go ahead and get through right here. We have m over 6 is greater than negative 7. Just like with a regular equation, we're going to get the variable by itself by doing the opposite operation. So if we're dividing by 6 here, we'll be multiplying by 6 on both sides. And so look, that was a positive 6 that we multiplied, so no changing needed. We're just going to have ourselves the cancellation on the left, just like we do with the equations. And we have m is greater than negative 42. And there's our answer right there, A. So again, my party people, what we're doing here is we're solving inequalities. They're just like equations, with the exception of, again, if you're multiplying both sides by a negative, we'll have to do something different. So we'll keep going until we find an example of that. But I'm going to show you again these one-step inequalities. And then up next, we'll do two-step and more from there. Look, if you're frustrated about raising your score right now, if you feel like you're studying, but you're not exactly remembering what you're supposed to, or suffer from test anxiety and blank on word problems a lot, then go ahead and text me directly. Here's my number, 567-698-8867. I'm Coach Anderson. I have a full program that's gonna help you succeed. So go ahead and shoot me a text and say, hey coach, I wanna learn more about the program. And I'll go ahead and explain how all of it works. That way you can stress less about this test and list with the job you want and possibly get that bonus check too. And so with that said, go ahead, shoot me a text. Let's learn more about it and let's get you in the right position to succeed. Let's keep going. So, negative 10 is greater than or equal to r over 14. <clears throat> Excuse me. So there's going to be something pretty interesting about this problem over here because you're going to see that the variable is on the right side. So I'm going to show you how to deal with that. So first and foremost, I'm looking at this and I'm saying, hey, let's get rid of that 14. So let's multiply both sides by that positive 14. Again, you're multiplying by a positive, so no need to worry about that rule right now. And we go ahead and cancel here giving us 140, which is a negative 140, is greater than or equal to r. So now, when you look at your answer choices, notice how the r is on the left side. So what do we do here? Well, what we're going to do is we're going to flip the sides. And you're perfectly allowed to do that. But remember this rule here. If you flip the sides, if you put the r here and the negative 140 there, if you flip the sides, you have to flip the inequality symbol. So instead of greater than or equal to, we have less than or equal to. Now, the reason that that works is because think of it like this. If I go ahead and say, and again, the answer is going to be A, but let me kind of go through this with you. If I were to say, hey, five is greater than three. That's a true statement, right? Five is bigger than three. But what if I were to go ahead and flip it and put three over here and five over here? If I were to flip it, well, then... If I kept the same symbol, if I were to keep the greater than, that's not true. Three is not greater than five. And so you're going to have to, again, flip the symbol if you swap the sides. <clears throat> again, if you swap the sides, you swap the symbol. And so that's how you can easily go from this to the correct answer. And right there, you're good. So let's go ahead and go to number three here. Number three, we have n plus seven is greater than or equal to eight. So this is something that we're pretty much used to seeing at this point. 
But again, it's just an inequality, not an equation. But we solve it the same exact way. We're going to get rid of that plus 7 because, again, we're basically looking at the n and we want to get it by itself. So the opposite of adding 7 to both sides will be subtracting 7. Right there, cancels out on the left, leaving me with n is greater than or equal to positive 1. And there's a. So again, this is just like solving equations. If you haven't gone through solving equations yet, do yourself that favor, get through it because this is going to be way easier once you actually know the mechanics of working with both sides. So here we had 10 plus x is less than negative 3. All right, so over here what I'll do is I see that I want to get rid of that 10 that's just sitting there. So I'll just subtract that 10 to get rid of it. And if I do that, again, that's going to cancel out. And we have ourselves x is less than negative 13. Now, if you're asking, hey, Anderson, do you flip the symbol? You subtracted the 10. You, there's a negative. No, remember, only when you're multiplying or dividing both sides by a negative. Only when you're multiplying and dividing. And so with that said, there's your answer here, and it's D. Going over to number 5, we have R minus 12 e is less than negative 17. So we have that. All right. And after this example, I'm going to find one where we do have to multiply or divide by a negative. I got you. So here what we'll do is we'll add both sides by 12 to get rid of that negative 12 or minus 12 here. And we have R is less than negative 5. Right there. So again, let me go ahead and find an example here where we're going to have to go ahead and flip the sides in some way, shape, or form. I do believe that these examples are going to be toward the end because I believe I included only positives in these parts here. And then moving forward, we have negatives included over here. Yeah, so right here. Let's take a look at 21. We have negative 9x is greater than or equal to 99. So check this out. We have a negative on that x, right? So let's go ahead and solve this. Negative 9x is greater than or equal to 99. So to solve this, I need to go ahead and divide both sides by negative 9. And once I do that, notice that again, we are dividing both sides by a negative. It's going to cancel here on the left and 99 divided by negative 9 is going to be negative 11. And so once that happens, remember, we must flip the inequality symbol. When you multiply or divide by a negative, you have to flip the symbol to make it true. And so the answer here would be X is less than or equal to negative 11. Now, let me go ahead and show you a brief example as to why that's true. I really want to make sure you know why. So look. If I go ahead and take, let's say, you know, let's go ahead and say the same example from earlier. If I have, let's say, 5 is greater than 3, which is a true statement, look at what happens when I basically turn both sides negative. If I multiply both sides by a negative, well, that's going to become negative 5, and that's negative 3. But the thing is, if I keep the same symbol, negative 5 is not greater than negative 3. It's not. It's actually less than. And so when you negate both sides, you negate the inequality symbol. So again, when you negate both sides, you negate the inequality. You reverse the inequality, and that's why it needs to be less than, because negative 5 is less than negative 3. So I hope you're starting to catch on with this, my part of people. Again, this was one-step inequalities. We're going to move forward now into two-step inequalities. And remember, you have the opportunity to practice this all that you need. After this, and you're in the course, you're going to see that there is a worksheet and beyond that, you're going to see speed drills that's going to help you practice your speed with randomized problems as long as you want to. That way you can build your speed, build your confidence, and really show that progress. So go ahead and get to it. Then after that, meet me back here where we're going to go into another video on solving two-step inequalities and then multi-step inequalities, and then we move forward from there. So again, I'm Coach Anderson. I'll see you in the next video.